Hello my lovelies, great to see you again, it's Lisa. I'm feeling great, I hope you do as well. Last week I had the flu, flu is gone today and I feel like celebrating. So I'm making a tart with pecans, dried figs and walnuts, some maple syrup. Super, super delicious, incredibly rich. Please don't eat the entire cake, although it is going to be very tempting. I will be using whole wheat flour and there is no refined sugar in the cake whatsoever. So it's quite nutritious, a lot of healthy fats. This is what you need. 400 grams of whole wheat flour, 200 grams of cold butter, a pinch of salt, 90 ml of cold water, 450 grams of dried figs that I soaked in water overnight, vanilla pot or vanilla extract, one organic orange, 250 grams of mixed nuts, I'm having walnuts and pecans here, two tablespoons of maple syrup or honey, and three cups of beans or rice to weigh down your pastry. If you're vegan or you prefer not to use real butter, you could try to use vegan butter. I've never tried that before. I'm into the real thing, but I have tried to use coconut oil to make a short crust pastry. But the thing with coconut, with coconut oil is that the melting point is quite low. So when you knead the dough with your hands, it becomes warm and the texture of the dough becomes really soft and your pastry doesn't get as crispy as an original short crust pastry. The most convenient way to make a short crust pastry is with a food processor. I'm adding my flour and my butter, which has to be really, really cold. A pinch of salt. And pulse it for 20 seconds. So what I have here is a crumb-like texture and I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. Make a little well in the middle and add 50 ml of cold water. Gently mix it. And now I'm adding another 40 ml. So what I'm doing here is I'm gently working the water into the flour so I get a really soft pastry. So now I feel that I have to add a little bit of water just a tiny splash. Because I'm working with whole wheat flour instead of plain flour, I had to add a little bit extra water because when you work with whole wheat flour, it does get a little drier. Now I'm wrapping my beautiful bowl of dough in a piece of cling film and I let it rest in the fridge to firm up for about 15 minutes. My oven is preheating at 200 Celsius. Now I can go ahead with the filling. I have beautiful figs here, they were dry, but I've soaked them overnight, so now they're really nice and soft. And I'm going to cut off these little tails, which are a little bit tough, and put them in my blender. Then I add some vanilla, and this is just a piece of a vanilla bean, which I throw into the blender. I have a high-speed blender, so it will crush it into powder. Uh, if you don't have a high-speed blender, just take the seeds out and add the seeds or just add some vanilla extract. And I want to add a little bit of orange flavor. I'm not going to use the orange juice. I'm only going to use the zest. Just don't go too far when you're grating because the white parts are very bitter. Beautiful, soft, fragrant filling. The pastry firmed up a little bit, so now I'm ready to unwrap it and roll it out and bake it in the oven. A little dusting. I'm greasing my tart pan. A quick measure. This is a tricky part, now I have to roll it up on my rolling pin, really gently. Don't break it or squeeze it. And transfer it onto my pie dish. There we go. So all of this excess pastry, I will trim it with a knife. So now just prick the pastry with a fork. This pastry needs to bake by itself for um, 20 minutes, I think, but I want it to stay nice and flat for the filling. So here's a piece of foil. 
and here I have my beans and this is a really good thing to have when you like to bake a lot some dried beans that you can use as a way I spread them over the bottom these are totally reusable by the way I'll use this leftover pastry for decorations So let's try to make a cute little flower here. I put these on a piece of parchment paper and put them on top of the crust. In the meantime, I will sweeten these beautiful walnuts and pecans with a little bit of maple syrup. So I'm throwing them in a bowl and add two tablespoons of maple syrup and give it a good mix. Okay, I'm ready to take the cake from the oven. Beautiful. I have this bar of raw chocolates. I think I'm going to put little pieces of chocolate in there and let them melt. And then when the cake is cool, we have a cake with little bits of chocolate in there. What do you think? It's really cute. These chocolates have little affirmation notes in them. This one says, I feel relaxed in myself. So I do. So here it is, my beautiful, wholesome pecan and walnuts and figs tart. I'm super ready to enjoy this. I hope you'll make it and let me know what you think of it. If you like more videos like these, thumbs up please, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.